So there's this famous law in math called the sine law, and we're going to use right angle trigonometry to prove that sine A over A is equal to sine over B, which is equal to sine of C over C. So let's look at this picture here. I'm going to focus on this height, it's the perpendicular height of this right triangle, and focus on the tr right triangle on the left first. Let's focus on this angle, angle A. We're going to focus on the sine. Sine A is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, which is H over B. Let's multiply both sides by B. We have H is equal to B sine A. Now let's focus on the triangle on the right. This is a right triangle. We're going to focus on B. Sine B is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse which is h over a. Multiply both sides by a, we have h equals a sine b. Now because h equals h, we know that a sine b equals b sine a. So let's state it up over here. So b sine angle a equals a sine b, angle b. Let's divide both sides by b. In math, you're allowed to divide both sides by the same number. Now let's divide both sides by A. And this is what we're trying to prove, that this expression is true. It's called the sine law. And it helps us solve the angles and sides of a triangle that's not even a right triangle. Notice how we drew a perpendicular line between A and B, and that helped us prove sine A over A equals sine B over B. You could draw a different triangle to draw the H not between A and B, but two different angles to make the conclusion that sine C over C is equal to sine B over B, or which is equal to sine A over A. So assuming that you took the time to prove this, why is it true that the reciprocal is true? Let's look at one example. Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. In math, you're allowed to do the same thing to both sides, including take the reciprocal of both sides. So A over sine A equals B over sine B. Much like 2 thirds is equals to two-thirds or same thing as four-sixths and if you flip both sides the statement remains true that three over two equals six over four that's okay can you prove the sine law